after being here for uh, oh, three or four months, once I recognized and realized that I could have all the food I ever want without fear of having it taken away from me of, uh, or, or, or stopping, I, I found myself, for instance, glancing at people's plates you know, during uh, mealtime in Vancouver, here in Canada. Once my hunger and my physical security was established in my mind, something happened. All of a sudden, I started to wake up in the middle of the night screaming, the beads of perspiration coming down my face to find the people I stayed with uh, sitting beside my bed and mopping my brow. And invariably, I was being chased, machine gunned, and, and uh, pursued, and people running after me. But it still wasn't the worst of it. The worst of it was when I began to see families together. Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. You know they were actually kissing each other, hugging each other, putting their arms around each other, sitting down at the same table together. And I saw this. And I really went to pieces inside. The whole thing uh, uh, just suddenly came into focus as to what happened to me. I was four, year old, four years older than then, from the time the whole episode of my life started back in Hungary. I was 18 now. And uh, all of a sudden, I saw everything I no longer had. The impact was total and devastating. What didn't you have? I didn't have a mother, I didn't have a father, I didn't have an, a brother, a sister, a family, someone to hug, someone to kiss. Love I didn't have. All I ever knew was hate. All I ever knew was hunger. And all of a sudden the other side of humanity, but, but, but what my term as the normal way of life, which today we simply take for granted suddenly confronted this personality, me, with devastating effect, I don't mind telling you. And to this day, I still suffer from it. That is the scar that I have. Somehow, I am never the same. I know I never will be the same as someone who has grown up under normal circumstances.